con lo único que hay porque trabajo no hay. To survive, the inhabitants of Villa Nueva work as churaqueros, meaning they search for recyclables in a landfill near Ciudad Sandino, Nicaragua. The work is hard, the sun is unrelenting, and the pay rarely rises above $2 a day. My situation is hard here. Porque aquí hay días que tenemos para comer, hay días que no tenemos. Mm. Sí. Mis hijos trabajan en el reciclaje y tenemos 25 años de ser churequera. Every day, children like Josefina work in dangerous conditions, earning barely enough money to put food on their plates. She fears the dirty needles strewn in the piles of garbage. She worries about the thick black smoke in her lungs. She's always looking over her shoulder, aware of the older men waiting to steal her collections. She knows of people who've died from days spent in Vida Nueva. When she has gathered enough recyclables, Josefina sorts them into large plastic bags that are later delivered to a local collector. Some days she finishes her work on time to attend a reading class. Other days she misses it. In este barrio sí, estamos abandonados. A mí me gustaría que el gobierno, que estamos, este, no quitara el basurero y e hiciera una planta de reciclaje para que a todos los que estamos allí, aguantando sol, polvo, humo, hicieran una planta de reciclaje y a toditos tuvieran un, una, un, 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 un trabajo fijo, donde ellos por, por lo menos tuvieran para, para llevarle el sustento a, a cada hijo de ellos. Five miles away lies the former location of Central America's largest landfill, La Chureca. Eight years ago, the Spanish government closed La Chureca to the public and began building a recycling plant and new homes. Though the Spanish government has profited from selling the recyclable material, the project has helped the community more than the Nicaraguan government has. Estamos mejor en la colonia de Vía Guadalupe. Mis hijos trabajaron también en el vertadero de la chureca. Después de mucho riesgo, gracias a Dios me los cuidó, me los protegió y no me les pasó nada. While Arlene works at the recycling plant, her oldest son, Arlis, is in charge of doing daily chores and watching his siblings. Before the plant opened, Arlene and her family slept together on a dirt floor. Now they sleep in beds in their new painted cement homes. Gracias a Dios, la hemos superado. The transformation of landfills into recycling plants is a growing trend throughout the world, providing hope that one day the lives of people in landfill communities could change for the better. Ya pasamos una situación y una vida difícil nosotros en el vertadero para que enteren a esas personas que están ahí que están sufriendo igual que sufrimos nosotros 
en un aquel futuro que teníamos.